A vehicle versus structure and three vehicle accident occurred this afternoon on Basin Avenue. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrived on scene to find one man who appeared to have been intoxicated who struck the building and then struck two other additional vehicles. We spoke to Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Report of a one vehicle accident, however, there was multiple collisions that occurred within this accident. One was versus the building and then subsequently after that initial impact, the vehicle sped in the opposite direction in an arc fashion and struck two parked cars. There was no entrapment in this accident. We did evaluate the driver medically. He is determined he's not going to go to the hospital at this point. It's now under investigation by the sheriff's office. Does uh, medical reasons seem to be the cause of this accident, or do you know? It's unknown exactly what may have precipitated this accident, whether it's some kind of a failure or whether it's the, uh, the fault of the driver, whether there's any medications or anything of those type of things involved. That's all part, going to be part of the sheriff's investigation. And then tell me about the building. The damage has uh, to the front, the front facade has damaged some of the structural components, including some electrical. So for now, the building's been evacuated, that particular suite. We're having buildings in safety. They'll be arriving momentarily. They'll do a secondary inspection, and he'll make a determination whether or not it's going to be a temporary basis or will be more of a permanent. The female that owns the store was right there at the time that the accident happened. She said she heard uh, two hits initially, and she's pretty shook it up. She is shaken up. Uh, she declined any medical, but she was in a position that she could have been seriously injured as a result of the initial collision with the building. But uh, the way it ended up, a lot of the material was moved around, probably buffered or some. So she's uh, very lucky today. I was actually ringing up a customer, and I just heard a tire squeal and a bam, bam, and the wall came caving in, and I'm pretty shook up. Yeah. So you have your cash register right on the other side of that? Directly on the other side. It basically touches the wall. So um, what's the inside look like? The, well, the inside's pretty messed up. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to have a lot of work done, get it fixed. You have electrical right there. Yes. Um, the fire department told us to close down the store because it's a big uh, electrical area, and they're afraid that there might be a fire. Let's hope there isn't. So the man that hit the store was just in the store a few minutes before? Yes, he was. He's a really nice guy. He might be having some medical issues. Uh, maybe. They're checking him out right now. So uh, after he hit uh, the store, did you guys go out and see what happened? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I was, I was actually kind of scared. I didn't know if it was deliberate or what was going on, and my heart was pounding. Still shaking up right now. I, I am. I'm really shook up. Nye County Sheriff's deputies did search the gentleman who had on his person a film case containing several different prescription medications. He was arrested on scene and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46.